Hello friends. Today let's see how we can download and install Kali Linux in our virtual box. Kali Linux is a popular open source Linux distribution designed for penetration testing and ethical hacking. Kali Linux provides a wide range of tools for penetration testing and cyber security tasks. In your browser, search download virtual box. Press enter. Now the very first link it will be from the virtual box. Now click on download Oracle virtual box. Next click on this window host option and this will start downloading your virtual box. Now in your browser search download Kali Linux. Press enter. The very first link it will be from the official Kali Linux website. Now click on get Kali. Now scroll down and you will see this option installer images scroll down at the top here we have the standard installer then we have the complete installer complete installer contains all the tools possible we will be downloading the standard installer click on the download button and this will download the kali linux iso now go to the location where your virtual box is downloaded and double click on it this will launch the installer, click on next, again click on next, click on yes and now click on install button. The installation is pretty simple. Now make sure you enable this start oracle virtual box and click on finish. Now we have installed virtual box in our machine. Now in the virtual box click on the new button. Now we will be creating a new Kali Linux virtual machine. You can give any name to this machine. I will be calling it Kali Linux. Now in the type select Linux and in the version select Debian 64 bit. Next select hardware. I will be allocating this virtual machine around 10 GB of RAM and I will allocate 7 processors to it. Now select hard disk. I will be allocating 20 GB of the hard disk to this virtual machine. Keep everything as it is and press on the finish button. Now select the Kali Linux machine that we created and click on the settings button. In the general, go to advanced and make sure you keep the shared clipboard as bidirectional. Next, go to system. Everything looks okay. Now go to display and make sure you give the maximum video memory to this virtual machine. Now enable 3D acceleration. Go to storage and click on this empty option. From the right side click on this disk icon and click on choose a disk file. Now from here Choose the Linux ISO that we downloaded earlier and click on open. Next go to network and make sure you enable the network adapter. Now from the drop down select bridged adapter. Now press on the ok button. Next we will be installing Kali Linux in our virtual machine. Select Kali Linux and press on the start button. Make sure you select graphical install and press enter. Select your language and click on continue. Select your location and click on continue. Select your keyboard layout and again click on continue. Now you can give any name to the system. I will be calling it Kali Linux and click on Continue. Now keep this empty and press continue. Now we have to give a name to this user. Give a name and click on continue. Again press the continue button. Now we have to choose a password for the user. Again verify the same password and click on continue. 
Select your clock and press continue. Select guided use entire disk and continue. Again press on continue. Select all files in one partition and click on continue. Now select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and click on continue. Select yes and click on continue. Now here we have to select our desktop environment. Disable KFCE and enable GNOME desktop environment. Click on continue. Now make sure you select yes and click on continue. Next select this option root dev slash sda and click on continue again click on continue now log in to the new account which we created provide the password that we created earlier there we go now we have successfully installed Kali Linux in our virtual box. Now go to view and click on full screen. Now we have successfully installed Kali Linux. Now if you want to enable copy and paste between the host operating system and your guest operating system you need to download the guest editions. Let's see how we can download the guest editions. Now launch your terminal in Kali Linux and type this command. This will update all the repositories and upgrade the softwares. Press enter. Now provide the password that we created and click on enter. Now we need to restart our system so type sudo reboot now and press enter. Provide the password and click on enter. Now log in to your account. Again launch the terminal and this time we will be installing Linux headers for Kali. Now type this command and press enter. Provide your password and press enter. Now let's exit out of the full screen. Next, go to devices and click on insert guest editions CD image. Click on it. Now Launch your file explorer in Kali Linux. Now you will notice this has created an icon vbox guest edition. Click on it. Now copy all the files from this location and paste it to your documents. Next go to your terminal and let me clear the screen. Now type this command. Now we will we are in documents. Type ls command. This will list all the files in the directory. Now we need to execute this file vbox linux editions dot run. So select it, right click on the terminal and select copy. Next type this command. This will make this file executable. Right click on the terminal and select paste. Now hit enter. Now let's execute this file. 
type sudo dot forward slash right click on the terminal and select paste press enter key on your keyboard now it is asking do you wish to continue type yes and press enter now we have finished executing the file now we need to restart our system so in the terminal type sudo reboot now and press enter now log into your account now we can copy and paste text in between host and guest operating systems this is how we properly install kali linux in the virtual box don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.